Today we will talk about the animal masters of mimicry. What exactly is mimicry? How and why do species use it? What does it look like and what are the benefits? Stay tuned to find out. Mimicry is a phenomenon characterized by the close superficial resemblance of two or more organisms that are not closely related taxonomically. Or in easier words, mimicry describes the act of imitation from one species to other animals, plants or even inanimate objects. There are different forms of mimicry including visual, which is the most common, auditory and olfactory imitation. However, at the core mimicry is always used as a way of survival. Either to hunt and catch food or to deter potential predators and not end up as prey. Usually there are three species involved in one mimicry. The first species is the model which is mimicked. The second species is the mimic itself and the third species, called the dupe, is the one which mistakes the mimic for the actual model. Now let's take a closer look at the basic types of mimicry and also look at some example species to get a better understanding. Back in 1861, English naturalist Henry W. Bates first offered a theory that a harmless species that is palatable to a predator mimics the appearance of a harmful or noxious species. A good example would be the harmless king snake, which mimics the look of the venomous coral snake to appear more dangerous and deter potential predators. Their color patterns are slightly different, but they share a strong resemblance. Malarian mimicry is similar to Batesian mimicry but goes a little further, describing a mimicry where both species, mostly insects like butterflies, are unpalatable but still look alike. On first sight there seems to be no reason for them to look alike since they are both not suitable to predators, but back in 1878 Fritz Müller, a German zoologist, suggested that there might be an advantage to one inedible species having a predator learn from another. Once the predator has learned to avoid the particular color pattern with which it had its initial contact, it would then avoid all other similarly patterned species, edible and inedible. A rather famous example for that would be the Viceroy and Monarch Butterfly. Both of them share a similar color and structure pattern and both are unpalatable to predators. While most mimicry in the animal kingdom is designed to save animals from ending up as prey, some predators have evolved to use mimicry to hunt and catch food. They will do that by appearing as food themselves or something equally interesting to potential prey. In this category we have some fascinating examples. A commonly known one would be mantises, which look like an assortment of plants or plant parts. On the one hand, this disguise is used to avoid predators but also for catching unaware prey. Blending into the surrounding foliage, prey like smaller insects can be caught using the hook-like forelegs. Another good example for aggressive mimicry are the alligator snapping turtle and the anglerfish, both being ambush predators. Their whole appearance is a perfect camouflage for their respective environment and both mimic an attractive lure to potential prey. The alligator snapping turtle has a small wiggling growth on their tongue which mimics the appearance and movement of a small worm attracting fish. The anglerfish, on the other hand, dangles a rod-like spine that glows and sits right in front of their mouth, mimicking potential lure for fish. But the actual master and king of mimicry is the octopus. They can not only mimic one specific species or thing, they are basically able to be whatever they want. The octopus skin is a very intricate whole organ system which can vary in color, pattern and even texture and together with their incredible nervous system, this crazy animal can be an octopus in one second and a perfect mimic of its surroundings in the next. If you want to learn more about octopuses and are interested in more detail regarding their camouflage and mimicry skills, I recommend you check out my very very first video which is about octopuses. It has way more detail on this crazy animal and how it functions. Now thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it then please leave a like and maybe even subscribe for more content like this. There will usually be one video every weekend. But most importantly take care of yourselves and have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day.